and today I'm going to show you how to uh, learn some watercolour techniques and paint a picture of a bunny. It's quite easy to do and I'm going to take you through it step by step and show you some paint techniques. What you're going to need for this project is um, a pencil and a rubber, a piece of paper that's a little bit thicker than um, photocopy paper. So my paper is watercolour paper. But if you don't have that, you can use cartridge paper. Uh, some coloured pencils. Um, I've just pinched these from my daughter's set. Um, a black Sharpie or a black pen. Some brushes, a water pot and some watercolour paints. I've got two different types. Uh, these are the tubes that we use in our art clubs. But lots of you might have watercolour paints like this in pans, so I'll show you how to use those as well. And the other thing you're going to need, which might seem a bit strange, but you're going to need a glass or a cup, which has a circle at the top that's bigger than the circle at the bottom. Um, when I've done this project before in art clubs, we've used paper cups from parties and they work really well. Uh, but this is what I've got at home today, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so first of all, we need to draw our bunny. And to do that, we're going to break it into simple steps. Now, you need to draw the largest circle in the middle of the page. And for this, you're going to use the biggest side of your cup and just whiz round it with a pencil. And then you're going to turn your cup over and you're going to put it this way and draw two circles that join together and they intersect the bigger circle. And this is what makes the cheeks for your bunny. Now, I've drawn that on a separate page to show you in pen, if that helps to explain how the three shapes work together. And then you're going to turn these three shapes into your bunny's head by taking lines down at the side and making a little area for the mouth at the bottom. Can you see already he's beginning to look a bit like a rabbit? Where this little gaps are at the side, we're going to put two eyes because the rabbit's eyes are actually on the side of their head and then at the top where we've got plenty of space because we did this circle in the middle we're going to draw our rabbit's ears you can choose whether you have your ears standing up or whether you've got one that might be flopping over And then you need to give him a body down here. Where these two circles meet here is where you can give your rabbit a little nose. And then we can rub out <coughs> the lines that we don't want anymore. going to just come down there in a line to make his mouth and some little markings for where his whiskers will go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my black pen to colour in his eyes, a brown coloured pencil to go round the edge and perhaps just a little bit of pink shading for his nose before we get on to painting.
When you've been around your rabbit with your coloured pencils, the next task is to paint the background. Now I mentioned earlier two different types of watercolour. If you have the tube type, squirt a blob into a paint palette or an old plate, uh, a blob about the size of a frozen pea. Now if you use this neat like this, it would be really sticky and really hard to work with. And what we often say in our art clubs is because these are called watercolours, they need lots of water to wake them up. And that really is quite a lot of water, okay? So I prefer to dip in my water and then dip back to my paint. Some people prefer to pour a little bit of water on top of the paint. But you need to make it nice and watery. And then it's a really good idea if you've got a spare bit of paper, scrap paper, to test your colour and see what you think. So that, I think, is perhaps still a little bit strong. So I'm going to add some more water to make it a bit lighter. So the more water you add, the lighter your colour is. That's much prettier. And then I'm also going to mix a second shade, just for fun. So I'll do a little bit of blue. I'll show you the tipping way. You just tip a little bit in. And then mix it all around until the paint's disappeared and test it. Oh yeah, that's nice. And then you're going to start at the top of your page. This is called making a wash. I'm going to start with this blue and work across the top. And you need to keep it quite wet. You don't want this to be drying out. You want to keep moving your paint down the page, avoiding the rabbit's ears because he's going to be nice and white. Now something that we talk about in Magpie Makes Art Clubs and the kids in my art club roll their eyes because I've said it to them so many times is think of your paintbrush as if it's a ballerina she's up on her toes and she's dancing across your page because you want her to be moving in a very gentle way you don't want to be pushing down too hard so that the bristles flare out and that way you don't have as much control you want to just be working very carefully and slowly bringing the colour down. Now at this point, if you want to fade it to white or just a much lighter blue, you just add water straight from the water pot. And because this is quite thick paper, it can cope with it, it's no problem. If you decide you want to blend in some of the other shade, you just pull it in and the two colours will merge together and you can add extra water to blend them. And whatever you do on one side, you're going to do the same on the second side, so it's matching. So that's a nice sky to be behind my bunny and then I said I'd show you the other type of watercolour paints so these they're just dry when you start off and in the same way you add can you see that plenty of water to your paint and test out your colour that's a good green. 
So I'm going to use this for my grass at the bottom. And I'm, because I'm going to make it grass, I'm going to do my brush strokes the other way. Because I want it to look a little bit different. And there he is. How cute. Easter bunny. Thank you for joining me today for this painting tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do send in the pictures of your rabbits and we can't wait to see them. Hope you have a lovely Easter weekend.